In today's video, we will be creating this kind of amazing movie title design using Adobe Photoshop. This design is fully customizable. You can change the text, you can move it around, and you can also do some more customization. You can download this project file absolutely for free from the link in the video description. So subscribe to the channel, also ring the bell icon so you will get notified whenever I post a new video just like this one. Now let's jump to the video and get started. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop and the first thing that we need to do is to create new document. As always, the size is 1920 by 1080 and the resolution is 72 pixel per inch. Click on create. Drag and drop this image into the Photoshop and press Ctrl E to merge it with the background. Grab your type tool, click anywhere on the canvas and type whatever you want. By the way, you can download this one from the link in the video description. Confirm it and align it to the center. Convert this layer into a smart object so that we can work non-destructively. Right click on the layer and go to blending option. Click on bevel and emboss. Style is inner bevel. Technique is chisel hard. Depth is 300%. Size is 20 pixel. Angle is 45 and the attitude is 55. Click on texture. Click on this drop down menu and select this preset. I don't know how but it works. So select this one. Scale is 100 and the depth is 10. Hit OK. Now drag and drop this texture into the Photoshop. Confirm it. Right click on it and choose create clipping mask so that it will only limit the layer beneath it which is text. Press Ctrl L to open level and add a little bit contrast. Select both layer, group them together by pressing Ctrl G and rename it face because this is face of our text. Open this group, select this layer, hold Alt key on your keyboard and drag it down to duplicate it. Also remove all of this effect from it because we don't need it. Now in order to extrude it and make it 3D, we will be using a free Photoshop action which you can download from the link in the video description. With the help of this action, you can easily and quickly extrude your subject and make it 3D. By the way, if you want to learn how to properly use this action, you can watch this video. Anyways, once you download it, unzip it, double click on the action and Photoshop will automatically install it. Go to Windows and choose Action. And there we have. Open the group, make sure this layer is active and now choose an angle in which you want to extrude your subject. I want to extrude my text in this direction, so I need to choose this action. Play this action few times. Now select all of these layers and press Ctrl G to put them in a group. Rename it Extrusion. Now to apply the texture on the extrusion, open this group, select this layer, hold Alt key on your keyboard and drag it down to duplicate it. Again right click on it and click on Create Clipping Mask. Create a Curves Adjustment layer on top of it and click on this icon to create a clipping mask. Now it will only limit the layer beneath it. Make it darker just like this. Now select all of these layers and press Ctrl G to group them together. Let's call it 3D Text. Now right click on the layer and go to Blending option. Now take the underline layer slider and slowly and gradually move it to the right. Hold Alt Option key on your keyboard and click on it to break it apart. And then move this slider to the right side. It will smooth out the transition. Now create a curves adjustment layer. Make it a little bit darker and add contrast. Go to the red channel and increase it a little bit. Same thing with the blue channel. Now the last thing that we need to do is to create the film bars. So create a blank layer. Select the rectangular marquee tool and make selection on its top area. Grab the paint bucket tool. Make sure your foreground color is black. Click on the canvas to fill the selected layer with foreground color. Press Ctrl D to deselect the selection. Pick the move tool. Hold Alt key on your keyboard and drag it down to duplicate it. Now select both layers and merge them together by pressing Ctrl E. Let's call it film bars. And now it is done. If you want to change the text, open this group. Double click on this layer. It will open another document. And here you can edit it. Align it to the center. Close this document and save it. And Photoshop will update everything for you and you can also move it around. So that's it guys. By the way, if you want to learn how to create this design, you can watch this video. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. Hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel, also ring the bell icon so you will get notified whenever I post a new video just like this one. I'll be catching you in my next video. Till then, peace.